CDL pre-trip air brake tests. Today we are going to talk about brake tests. We are only going to do the brake portion of the CDL pre-trip exam. There are a series of brake tests that we need to cover. The first one, actually the first two, we are going to do with the bus running. The last three we will do with the bus engine off. It's very important that you do the brake test exactly the way I'm showing you because it's the only element in the pre-trip exam that you can automatically fail. So we want to pay close and special attention to the brake tests that we're going to do. So the first one we are going to check is the parking brake. We are going to uh, press on the service brake and put our bus into drive. Then we're going to push on the accelerator. When we push on the accelerator and we don't move, we know that the parking brake is holding. Okay. The next one we're going to do, we're going to press on the service brake. We're going to put the bus into, dr into um, drive and with the parking brake released, we are going to drive about five miles an hour forward, and then we're going to press on the service brake. We want to make sure that our bus is not pulling to the left or to the right, and that we're stopping smoothly. Now we are going to leave the parking brake off, but we're going to put it back into neutral and turn the ignition off and keep, but keep it back on accessory. Okay, it's important that your gauges are functioning properly when you're doing this test. So what we're testing right now is the air pressure in the air tanks. And we want to make sure that with no pressure on the air tank that it will not drop more than 2 psi in a minute. And you're going to ask the tester if they want to time that. They might say yes, they might say no, or continue on. Just let them tell you to continue on before you move on with the next test. Sometimes, in some states, you do not have to do the static brake test. Make sure you co connect with your exam station to see what their specific requirements are. Okay. Also, make sure that you have at least 100 pounds of pressure in your air tanks to do these air tank tests. Okay, our next one we are going to apply heavy pressure to the service brake. After the initial drop, it will not move more than 3 psi or drop more than 3 psi in a minute. And once again, you're going to ask your examiner if they'd like to time that. If they tell you to continue on, you can move to the third in this series of brake tests. We're going to fan the brakes and to, to let the air pressure out. Above 55, the light and buzzer will come on as it just did. And between 20 and 40, the parking brake or the spring brake will set itself. That way, there and there it just happened. We will know that all of our emergency features are functioning properly. And that is your break test series. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.